In this video, we'll discuss how to use Generator Presets, an enterprise feature that allows you to more easily complete and track generator configuration. When working with larger datasets, configuring generators can be a repetitive task. For example, every time you select the name or address generator, you also have to select which format to use. A generator preset is a saved configuration of a generator. When you assign a generator preset to a column, it automatically applies that saved configuration. The default configurations for the tonic generators are referred to as the built-in generator presets. You can update the built-in presets. For example, your name values always use the format last first. You configure the built-in name generator preset to also use last first. Then every time you select the name generator, it has the correct format. Custom generator presets allow you to create multiple configurations of a generator. For example, your name values are in separate first name and last name columns. You create two custom generator presets. One uses first name as the format, and the other uses last name as the format. You then select the appropriate preset for each column. You manage generator presets from Generator Presets view. The list indicates whether each generator preset is built-in or custom. You can filter the list to only show built-in or custom generator presets. For each custom preset, you can see the generator that it is based on. You can also filter the list to only show presets for a specific generator. To create a completely new generator preset, click Create Preset. You can also start a new preset by copying an existing preset. Each generator preset has a name and an optional description. For a completely new preset, select the generator. After you save the preset, you cannot change the generator. You also cannot change the generator for a copied preset. After you select the generator, you set the generator configuration. When you configure a workspace column, the suggested generators include the relevant presets. For example, when Tonic detects that a column contains address information, it suggests both the address generator, the built-in preset, and any custom presets for the address generator. When you apply a generator preset, it uses the saved configuration from the generator presets view. This is called the baseline configuration. After you apply the generator preset, you can change the generator configuration. If you do this, then the column overrides the baseline configuration. If you do change the configuration, then from the configuration panel, you can reset the configuration back to the baseline configuration, save the changed configuration as the new baseline configuration, save the changed configuration as a new custom generator preset. Note that for composite generators, such as JSON Mask or Regex Mask, the configuration panel options are the only way to create or update a generator preset. Because these generators require access to data for their configuration, you cannot configure their presets from the generator presets view. Similarly, the generator preset configuration does not include linking or consistency with other columns. These options also require access to data and are only configured when you apply a generator preset to a column. What happens when you update the baseline configuration? For example, this first name generator preset is assigned to two columns. The preset configuration is updated to change the capitalization and consistency settings. The new baseline configuration is used the next time you apply the preset to a column. Tonic does not change the configuration of other columns that you previously applied the preset to. They keep their existing configuration and are marked as having overrides to the baseline configuration. From the Generator Presets view, you can also track how often and where each preset is used. The Occurrences column indicates how many columns across the Tonic instance use that preset. It displays separate values for columns that use the baseline configuration 
and columns that override the baseline configuration. On the Generator Preset Details panel, the Occurrences tab lists the workspaces where the preset is used and shows the number of occurrences in each workspace. If you have access to the workspace, then you can also navigate to the workspace's database view. And that concludes our overview of Tonic Generator Presets. To learn more, check out our other videos, our blogs, or the Tonic product docs.